Hi, welcome. I'm Shannon. This is Chair Yoga. Starting to build up a few of these classes on YouTube, so I hope you're enjoying it live. I have my beautiful friends here today, Nan, my mother, and Fern. I thank y'all for being in the class, and I thank those that are taking it at any time that is convenient. I was just saying to the ladies that we are going to be doing warriors today, so some warrior one, warrior two, we might even try a warrior three in the chair. We'll see how that goes. So we'll stay seated, but we will do our, what I would call standing poses and see how that goes. So sit back, lean back, get comfortable, soften your skin, try to bring your shoulders down, relax your hands on your legs, either palms up or palms down. I like for you to pick one or the other. If you feel like you need some grounding, which I need about 95% of the time because I'm usually hyper and floating around, then hands down is a nice grounding feeling. If you turn your palms up, sometimes that feels more as an opening, a receiving. So if you have felt like you have been closed in a little bit, shut down a little bit, sometimes opening up your hands, palms, is just a nice feeling. So pick which one works for you. Close your eyes or have a soft gaze, whatever feels comfortable for these few moments of meditation. And just notice the sound of your breath. And the length of your breath. And the quality of your breath. Notice those few moments at the beginning of, we could call it meditation, quiet time, stillness. I honestly like to think of it as my center of gravity. My attention centered in the moment. Deepen your breath. Bring your palms to your chest. We'll breathe together, inhale, exhale, and chant Om. Inhale fully, Oh. Bow your head towards your heart. Release your hands to your legs. Slowly lift your chin and open your eyes. All right, some of us are cold here in Austin today. It's a little bit cold, so we'll just warm up a little. Crawl up to your chair a little bit so that you have some space around you and rub your hands vigorously together. Just build some heat. And maybe place your hands over your heart or your chest. Breathe into your hands. Let it out. And we'll warm up even here. Just take maybe your right hand to your left arm. You can warm up by rubbing your hand up and down your arm. If you're not cold and you're like, I'm not cold, I'm not trying to warm up, you might take your fist and just lightly beat. So we have a lot of fascia that wraps around our body. It's a netting underneath the skin, wraps around everything. So just picture you gift wrapped your entire body, every bone, muscle, tissue. 
So sometimes it helps to just wake up a little. Might come up to your collarbones, your shoulder, come to the back of your arm. I don't want you to beat yourself up, ha ha, but just give a little bit of vibration to your body. And I'm smiling at you, Fern, right now. <laughs> come over, take your left hand, rub if you're cold. On a scale of one to 10, I'm about a seven right now for being cold. Rub, rub, rub. Wake up. Wake up your body a little bit. And then if you want, just take a soft fist and just beat lightly around all your joints, back of your arm. Try to get back in the back towards your triceps, maybe up to your shoulder, around your collarbones. You know, this takes about as much energy as exercising. And release that and just notice. Notice if your arms feel a little bit more alive, maybe irritated at you. And then just pound your thighs. You can use both hands at the same time. Inside, around your knees, the outside. Give yourself a little beat. It really is a waking up feeling. And if you can fold forward, try to move down into your shins. Maybe your calves. Beat your calves a little bit, not pushing too hard. Give yourself a break. Oh yeah, come back up and release and still for a moment. And just tell me if you feel a little bit different, a little bit woken up a little bit, a little bit more awake. All right, now we'll start to move a little bit. So I've been doing this while we're standing, but since we're not standing, it shouldn't be too hard. Just lift your right heel off the floor, keep your toes down, and just make circles in your ankles. You might have to walk your foot in a little bit. Amazingly enough, I feel very jerky when I do this. My ankle feels very stiff. We don't want that to happen. We tend to fall or trip. So my heel is lifted and I'm just rolling around on the ball mounds of my toes. And then try if you can to come to the tops of your feet. So the top of your right foot, top of your knuckles and press. So you might even feel like you're lengthening out through the top of your foot. And then let's try the left side. Or if you did the left side, do the right side. So pick up your heel, jerky movements through your ankle. I'm just spinning around on the ball mounds of my feet. And for some reason, it's not an easy thing to do for me. And then if it feels okay, curl your toes under, try to come onto the top of your toe joints and press. Don't hurt yourself. I don't want you to have any pain, but just press down and stretch the top of your foot. And come back. It's working our wrists a little bit. So wrap your thumbs in, wrap your fingers around and just make circles with your wrists. Again, you might feel jerky movements and I'd like for you to even come all the way up to the sky and all the way back down. Come all the way up and all all the way back down. And then let's work in the finger joints a little bit. Take all four fingers on each hand and press your thumbs. So like you're making a beak or little puppets with your hands. I just thought of Sesame Street, but <laughs> take all your fingers and try to put them on your thumbs. That's not easy and do the same thing. So you're stretching out your finger joints. Try to come all the way up. Man, my pinky fingers don't want to stay. And back down. And up. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> and down. And jiggle that out. Wiggle your fingers like you're trying to wring out water from your hands. How many of us are doing that right now with hand sanitizer? <laughs> 
trying to drip off all the excess hand sanitizer and relax your hands. Man, all right, let's stretch a little bit in the legs. I'm building us up to these, what I'm calling standing poses, but some of our uh, standing poses in the chair. So I want you just to bring your right leg out in front of you. Keep your left knee bent and your left foot in. And if you can come up to the edge of your chair, great. You don't have to, be safe. So your right leg is out in front of you. Press your heel down onto the floor and draw your toenails towards you and lean forward. Now don't lean so forward that you might fall over. Keep your hands on your thighs for a little bit of stability, but push out through your heel and you should feel this in the back of the leg. So that's what I'm looking for. A stretch in your hamstrings, maybe even your calf muscle. Lean forward. As if you had a strap around your foot, feel like you're drawing that strap in towards you but then also draw your chest forward. So don't fold at your waist like you're bowing. I want you to lift your abdomen up and reach forward. And do that until you feel something in the back of your leg. And then let's all in unison, take a breath, let it out. Slide your foot back up, let's try the other side. So you're trying to straighten as much as you can. You're sitting in a chair, so you're gonna have that fold, but try to straighten your left leg, flex your foot, draw your toenails towards you as you reach out through your heel, lean slightly forward. You should feel something wake up on the back of the leg. Don't bow, lift and fold. Even draw your shoulder heads away from your ears so you're reaching your chest forward. And then notice if your jaw clenches along with the muscles in your leg. And then come back up and bring your foot in. All right, let's work a little bit in the arms. Arms come out to the side like airplane wings. So bring them out. Now I can see myself. So I'm looking right at my, the screen. I tend to bring my shoulders up and I clench. If you're like me, try to unclench your shoulders away from your ears. I am so guilty of having my arms up a little bit higher than I should. So look over and see if you can bring your wrists in a straight line out from your shoulders, not too far up and not too far down. Find that perfect spot like Goldilocks did. Reach out through your arms. So we're gonna move in a little bit of, um, I think of it as a pinwheel. Turn your left thumb down, turn your right palm up. So it's a Simon Says type thing. Left thumb down, right palm up. Now, sweep your left arm behind you as you bring your right arm up and behind you and you'll feel your hands touch your back. And then come back out. It really does look like a pinwheel. Turn your right thumb down and your left palm up. Sweep your right arm back behind you. Reach your left arm up and touch. So we'll go a little bit faster. Arms come out. Right thumb turns down. Left, I'm sorry, left thumb turns down. Right palm turns up. And then I want you to notice on this next run, right thumb down, left palm up, if you're looking down towards the floor. If you're looking down towards the floor, lift your gaze and press your skull back slightly. That's gonna make it a little bit harder, a little bit more challenging. Left thumb down, right palm up. Pinwheel your arms back, but if you're looking down at the floor, press your skull into your forearm. Let's do it one more time. Right thumb down, left palm up. A lot of internal, external rotation. Press your skull back. Come back, airplane wings, and release. Roll your shoulders back. Okay, consider that a warm up. Now, those of you who are taking my class on YouTube or in some other fashion, I do like for you not to have sides on your chair, but that's not always accessible to everyone. So just make do. You might just be moving to the front of your chair a little bit. And then for some of us, we're gonna utilize the entire seat. So left thigh, bring it onto the chair and take your right leg back behind you. 
So that in itself, if you're newer to yoga, this is gonna be a big pose for you. So take your time and notice. I'm gonna give you some modifications and we could call them tracks, track one, track two, track three. Track one would be just to keep your leg right in front because that's a lot for your front leg. Track two is to maybe just bring your toes to the floor and keep your knee bent. And track three would be to stretch your leg back behind you. So find one that's good for you. The most I want you to think about for the left leg is to try to bring the knee and the ankle in a straight line. So I think we could all do that no matter what kind of chair we have. If your right leg is long back behind you, try to bring your foot to the floor. Try to bring the outside blade of your foot pressing down towards the floor so that you feel length in your leg. Now you've got your thigh on the chair. We're gonna turn towards our left leg. So you might use your left arm on the back of the chair. Lift your right arm up. Take a full breath in. So notice your breath here. And exhale, push down into your left foot like you were gonna lift yourself off of the chair. So as you push your left leg down, lift up through your torso. Feel your left sit bone on the chair, nice and grounded. Lift your chest, look forward, and even feel like you could slide your left ribs back, back behind you. So sweep your left ribs using tone in your abdomen to do that. You can also lift your left arm up if that feels safe for you. Warrior one, full breath in and out. Now, bring your left forearm down to your leg, so the back of your arm resting on your thigh, and take your right arm out to the side. So whether you're here, here, or here, we're all gonna be able to do the same thing. Turn your right thumb down and slide it back behind you. So we practiced that earlier. Slide it back behind you, Roll your right shoulder and look over your right shoulder or towards the right side of the room. Push away from your thigh. So feel your left arm pushing into your thigh so much that you lift the left side of your rib cage off of your thigh. So pick up the left side of your rib cage, draw it away and peer over towards the right side of the room. Push into your feet. Notice your breath, inhale. Exhale. Slide your right arm back out. Thumb is still facing down. Internal rotation of your arm. Now, we're gonna externally rotate. So turn all the way up into your shoulder head until your right palm is facing up and sweep it overhead. Now, you'll see a diagonal shape in my arm and leg reaching out. As you're stretching the right side of your body, keep picking up the left side of your rib cage. Draw it in, lift your chest and reach. Still pressing down into your left foot, reaching out through your right leg. Come back up. Take your arms out to the sides. Stretch out through your fingertips and turn your gaze over your left fingertips. So right over your left middle finger, gaze past your hand, reach out through your right arm behind you, tone your abdomen and breathe full breath. Drawing navel to spine. Bring your hands down. You might help yourself so you could grab the front of your chair or even just slide your left buttock over so that you can bring your right leg in. Take a moment. I wanna go back to that moment where I said, tone your abdomen, and then I told you to take a breath. I had a student once say, you're, that seems contradictory. You're telling me to tone my abdomen, and then you're asking me to take a breath. Probably shouldn't say it in that order. But what I do want you to notice is that, are you just holding in and squeezing when I say tone your abdomen and you wouldn't be able to take a breath. So I want you to just think about the idea of toning, feeling that little corset, but still bringing breath in. So I apologize if I say that out of order, but 
I do want you to always feel stable in your center, but also able to breathe into the center. So if you're just holding, she told me to tone and I'm just gonna squeeze and not breathe. Notice if that's happening. All right, let's go to this side. So bring your right thigh onto the chair. You've got your track one. You might just keep this leg in front for today. You're newer to yoga. You're feeling some cramping in your body. You might be able to bring your leg into a bent knee situation, or you might be able to straighten your left leg back behind you. And you could bring it a little more in front. It might not want to come directly out from your hip socket. Try, if you can, to press down into your outer heel until this leg gets nice and toned. Wherever it is, press down into the outer heel. Here we go, warrior one. Start to turn over your right leg. Look at your right knee and see if you can get it right over the heel so it's a vertical line in your shin. You can keep your right arm on the chair so that you stay nice and stable and then lift your left arm up. So this side, I can already tell that I am not comfortable with my leg straight today. Something's going on. Got a little bit of something going on in my lower back. So I'm just gonna bend my knee and take my leg out a little more forward. And I can tell automatically that feels better for me. So I'm making that adjustment. Lift your left arm up. Feel your right sit bone on the chair, but feel like you could lift up through your chest, lift up through your left arm. Maybe you even take your right arm up. That's up to you if you feel stable. Take a big breath in and as you exhale, Roll your right ribs back. Tone your navel towards your spine. Lift your gaze. Come back to center. Bring your right forearm down. Take your left arm out. Turn your thumb down and bring your arm back behind you. So it's the back of your hand, maybe pressing towards your outer right hip, maybe your mid back, maybe you just have your hand on your hip. Roll your left shoulder back. Feel like you're drawing your right ribs away from your thigh. So pick your ribs up, roll your left shoulder in and gaze towards the left side of the room. Widen your collarbones. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Slide your left arm out. Thumb is still facing down. Best way to get your arm from behind you is an internal rotation of your shoulder. Turn all the way from your hand, wrist, elbow, bicep, and shoulder. Turn that arm up and reach your arm over. I'm just gonna call it a yarm. Reach your arm over. Now stretch in a diagonal. So feel your left leg toning. Feel your left arm reaching. Keep picking up your right ribs away from your thigh. Tone your navel towards your spine. Maybe gaze towards the left. Full breath in. And exhale. Warrior two, arms come back out, airplane wings. I notice my shoulders higher. You might soften your shoulders away from your ears. Peer over your right fingertips. So go right past your middle right finger, gaze, reach out through your left arm behind you. It'll tend to start falling, keep it lifted. Push into your right foot, drag your right heel towards you, Tone, even though you're sitting in the chair, feel as if you are standing warrior two. Bring your arms down. Take your hands to the chair or help your legs in and come back to center, both sit bones on the chair. So that was a lot, that was warrior one. That was a side angle pose warrior two and i was trying to think earlier how we could do warrior three so 
Warrior three is more of a balance. And I'm just going to try it out. I tried it earlier and I, I, I think it's an interesting way to go. So we'll go back to left thigh on the chair. And this time I want you to just completely turn. So completely and absolutely turn towards the left. And then sweep your right leg back behind you. Try to get it back behind you. If you've got the capability of putting your left thigh onto the chair, you can bring your right thigh completely off. If your chair is not gonna work for that, then you're just here and you have your leg out in front. Stretch your leg out in front, sit up nice and tall. Ooh, it's a big stretch. Keep your toes on the floor and maybe your heel lifted. Press your right thigh up towards the ceiling. So feel the back of your right thigh like a string drawing up. Now make sure this feels okay in your body. It's only gonna feel okay in my body if I bend the right knee a little bit. So notice that that feels right for you. Lift your arms up overhead or keep one arm holding onto the chair. Take a big breath in. Exhale. And this is where we're gonna try a warrior three. Hold onto your chair, lean forward until you feel your abdomen pressing onto your left thigh and try to reach out through your right leg. I mean, we're just having fun here today, seeing what we can do. I can't pick my leg off the floor, it's not gonna go. But I can lean forward, maybe even take my right arm out in front. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Reach out through your right heel abdomen and thigh are pressing against each other. Come back up, come back to center. It's different. I think it's fun though. I think it's a way for us to get length in that back leg. So let's try the other side. Right thigh onto the chair. Left leg reaches back behind you. This is a high lunge. So we're lunging more here by bringing our left toes to the floor and heel back. If you're like, goodness, something doesn't feel right in here, just bring your leg out in front. Getting plenty of work no matter what you choose to do. So again, I have my knee slightly bent behind me, but I'm stretching out like a string on the back of my thigh is pulling up towards the sky. You could lift just the left arm or both arms. Inhale fully. Exhale, reach out through the back heel. Ooh, it's a big stretch. Big stretch in the hip flexor as well. You might feel that in the front of your left thigh. Take a full breath in, hold on to the back of your chair and fold. Bring your abdomen towards your right thigh. Stretch out through the back leg. Maybe even inch your foot out a little bit longer. Reach forward and reach back. Come back to center and slide your buttocks back onto the chair. That was a lot, a lot of work there. My hip flexors are talking to me. They're talking to you. You might rub the tops of your thighs. Take your thumbs and sneak them in where your hip bone and thighs meet. Give yourself a rub. Now it was a lot of opening. All right, sit in your chair nice and grounded. So come back to that center of gravity. We were definitely taking ourselves left and right. Take your arms down by your sides. Turn your palms up, inhale. Exhale, swan dive. So your wings go out to the sides, your abdomen comes to your thighs, look down towards the floor. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, palms to chest. Let's do that a few times. Inhale, sweep your arms up, maybe even look up. Exhale, swan dive. So reach your arms out to the sides, fold abdomen to thighs, look down. Now this time, take your hands to your thighs and just start to take your gaze forward until you feel like you're lengthening the back of your spine. Push into your thighs and press yourself up. So we're looking more towards a lengthening. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Hands onto your thighs. Lengthen your spine. Look forward. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. So I want you to think about lengthening your chest forward. Push all the way up. 
Inhale, arms up overhead. Look at your thumbs. Exhale, swan dive, fold. Take your hands to your thighs or the tops of your knees. Look forward, lengthen your spine. Shoulders move away from your ears. Push all the way up. And roll your shoulders back and relax. Scoot back a little bit. Take your right hand over to your left thigh and just wrap your left arm back behind you. So your left arm can maybe grab the back of your chair. Just the way I have my chair, I can grab the seat, the underneath part of the seat. You know where kids put gum, right about there. Roll your left shoulder in, roll your right shoulder forward. So you're coming into this twist squeeze your thighs towards each other. So stay in the midline with your legs, but allow yourself to twist, lift up through the crown of your head. Look forward. Bring your shoulders parallel from each other. Just feel the sensation of that twist. We did a lot of opening and open poses, but now we're closing and twisting. Bring your left hand to your right thigh. Bring your right arm back behind you. Maybe grab the back of your seat. Bring your legs together. So feel the midline of your body moving around. So you'll feel your left ribs wrapping forward, your right ribs wrapping back. Tone your navel in towards your spine. Lift your chest. Lift through the crown of your head, full breath in, exhale. Take your gaze forward, bring your shoulders parallel to each other. Let your feet rest on the floor and even lean back. So feel like you are letting the back of the chair take over. Let your shoulders move down from your ears. And just take a few moments here to notice your breath. I, guilty, will lose that breath that we so harvested in the beginning of class. Like, got it, I got this. And then through class, you start to narrow it, shorten it. You're thinking, you're doing, you're moving. So just take a few moments and go back to that deep breath. going back to that center of gravity. Even feel with your own breath and the way that you're timing it, manipulating it. Think of it as a waterfall down your back. So bring the breath in, maybe from abdomen center, ribs, chest, crown of your head, and then as you exhale, rain it down. So feel that waterfall of an exhale down your spine. Bring the breath in, abdomen, ribs, chest, nasal passages all the way up to the crown of your head, exhale down. Inhale. And exhale. Bring your palms to your chest. Take a big breath in. Move it out through your mouth slowly. Letting your lips part slightly. Do that again, inhale.
take a few moments and feel the center of gravity in your body, a centering of your thumbs near your heart center. Feel the strength of the outer and the sweetness of the inner. So the inner self, soft, restored. The outer, strong, stable. We'll chant Om together. Inhale. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Just want to thank you for being here. Whether you're here today or you're here another day, just enjoy the practice. Enjoy what happens. Enjoy the shapes of your body, the way that you move them in different directions and never feel pressured to do one thing or the other. Just enjoy the time that you took to sit in the chair and think about what's going on with you, your body, mind, and spirit. I thank you for those that are here with me right now, and I thank you for those that watch later. Have a great day.